I really wanted one of these for my 110 right here after looking at the old pictures some of them had a sleeve hitch I want to get a sleeve hitch for this one and off the sleeve hitch you can get this attachment I'm not sure what they called it, Brindley dump cart or something then they had garden cart which is guard spelled like guard and then dash n dash cart because it would come up in front of the grill here to guard the grill or you could flip it down and put firewood and stuff on it like a little cart and mount to the front bumper I might get one of those for it but I knew I wanted one of these and uh, the guy I got the snowblower from had one of these not sure what it fit he's not sure either maybe a wheel horse or a cub cadet or something not really sure but it's not going to mount to the sleeve hitch I believe that bracket's just wide enough to slip around the rear of the, the 110 and uh, I'm thinking about trying to find a rototiller bracket for this not not the sleeve hitch one just something I'm not sure what I want to do yet I want to find a way of mounting that thing to the back of the 110 He's a John Deere guy, and he's parted out more than a few tractors, restored more than a few tractors, and he thinks that's why he saved this. He thought it could be done. Uh, the bolts that clamp the barrel thing on there are a little crooked, so it's not on there straight, but you can see that bar is a little crooked, but that's just a matter of unbolting and straightening. Some of the welds right here need to be, you know, just redone. They've just come undone, but it's not rusted through in very good shape. Here's one of the original tags. You can still make out Brindley even though someone has painted over it. You can kind of see through it. And there's a model number or something there. I can't quite. Or I haven't really made it out all yet. Something must have broken off here. I'm not exactly sure. But it's red. And that's what kind of leads me to believe it might be wheel horse. I don't know, if anyone can tell me, just let me know. Appreciate it. But it'll be one of those attachments that just kind of looks right with the 110 here and kind of sets it apart from the others. So I can't wait until I get this tractor done and get more really cool attachments like that. Got the snowblower underway. Got all the brackets to attach that to the tractor now. I have, I now have another pin. Where's it? Where's it right here? To attach the mower's draft plate or draft arms to the draft plate, which would be nice. I ended up getting an original shroud to go around the cylinder because mine was missing. Um, my transmission that I got for parts over there. I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to see if the input gear is the same as the one in the 64's 3 speed. I'm hoping so. I thought this was a 3 speed when I bought it but turns out it's a 4. But they're very similar so I think I might be able to interchange some of the parts but there will be some differences. So that's where I'm at right now and there will be more updates coming and I now have a really nice cart to put this engine on it is very old, it steers it is the perfect perfect size and it was given to me by one of my old employers and uh, I'm going to be planing down some rough cut wood you know make it look nice again and uh, this engine is going to be sitting on a proper cart. It might be a little wide, but it's going to look nice.